All right, class, today we're going to be covering how to complete the record form for TGMB3 for all of your scoring. So you want to make sure you go ahead and complete all the identifying information up here on top. Based upon the video that you're going to watch, you're not going to get exactly everything. So go ahead and just make up the information, but remember not to leave any blanks. Examiner's name, you're going to write your name. And then for your title, you're going to write student. And the next thing that you need to do is transfer your raw scores that you receive for the locomotor section and the ball skills section um, into this area. So if you go ahead and add up all the scores, this is going to be your total raw score for locomotor and then for ball skills. So those are the scores that we use to be able to figure out all the other scores that you need to do in order to complete this form. So first thing, you need to know raw score for locomotor is 10 and this example participant is three years 0.7 months so 3.7 or 3-7 is going to be their age so when i look over here to figure out age equivalency this is on table b1 i'm looking at locomotor score they received a 10 which is less than 15 so right here is going to tell me that their age equivalency is less than three years, zero months. So I'm going to write that here. Make sure you include the less than if that's part of the answer. Less than three years. Go figure my pen doesn't work. Three years, zero months. Okay. And then I'm going to continue on to ball skills. And this is a male that I use for the example. So I need to make sure I look at the male. They received a seven, which again is less than 17. So their age equivalency is going to be less than three years, zero months. All right. So now I'm going to go to another table to be able to find out their percentile rank. So the table I'm going to be using is C1. And again, this is going to be converting locomotor scores into percentile ranks, scaled score, and also our confidence interval for males. So depending on what your participant is, make sure you pull out the right one for males because the next one is for females and that's gonna make a difference on your scores. So locomotor, first thing I'm looking at is what their age is. So my example is three years, seven months. So I'm gonna be using this column right here. And their score for locomotor was a 10. So I look down to 10, I get a percentile rank of 16. So I fill that in. Scaled score, I look over here, is a seven. And then for confidence interval, it's how confident this score is. So I always go with the 95 percentile, that's a higher level of confidence. So I put 95% in here. And then it's telling me it's a um, confidence interval between five and nine. So five to nine. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the ball skills. So I need a new table for that. I'm gonna find the males ball skills table, which is table C3. Again, I'm finding their actual age, which is three years, seven months. They scored a seven. So six, seven percentile rank is a five. Scaled score is a five. And I can add these up. So seven plus five, 12. So that's the sum of their scales scores. I look at 95% confidence interval for to eight, so I put this in, four to eight. Okay, so what I can do is I have the sum of the scaled scores here. So I'm gonna write 12 down below, which is sum of scaled scores. Now I can go ahead and look at what is that percentile rank. So I'm gonna go to a new table and again, all these are posted and available for you on blackboards. All right, so now I'm gonna convert sum of scaled scores to composite indexes, percentile ranks, and confidence intervals. So our sum was 12. Our percentile rank is five. 
right? Our gross motor index is 76. Again, I'm gonna stay consistent with the 95% confidence interval. So that has 70 to 85. Okay, so now what I can do is fill out these descriptive terms here. So for the descriptive terms, you can either use the scale score or you can use the index score. So the index score, we only have that for the bottom here, which is 76. So out of 76, their descriptive term is gonna be borderline impaired or delayed. So I, I'm gonna write that. Impaired or delayed. And going up here to the top, I'm gonna to go ahead and use the scaled score. So for locomotor, they had a seven, which then puts them at below average. And for ball skills, they had a scaled score of five, which puts them at um, borderline. Oh, I forgot to put borderline. Got to be specific. All right, so they had a five, which puts them at borderline, impaired, or delayed. So I put that in here. Not a lot of space for your writing, but that's okay. Delayed. Okay, um, difference between the scaled scores. So the difference between seven or five, and that difference is meaning subtraction. So five, six, seven is two. And it says statistical difference between locomotor and ball scales would be three or above. Clinical would be six or above. So since I'm at two, I'm gonna X off or check off, whatever you want, not important. So that's how you finish the report form, the record form to be able to fill in the rest of the information. Feel free to utilize this video to go back, but this is what you're gonna be submitting after you watch the YouTube video of your participant. I want all this information completed and utilize these tables. It has all the answers for you. If you have questions, as always, send me an email um, and I will help you figure it out. Thank you so much.